So, quick note, just before we start this video, I went ahead and bought Gundam Breaker 3 Break Edition on PlayAsia, so that should be shipping soon. So expect Gundam Breaker 3 footage on the channel soon. Anyway, this video is going to be cool, it's going to be personal, it's going to give everyone a chance to speak, you know, in the comments section. Well, basically, this one is personal, and it, it gets people involved more. And I believe that, you know, it's it's cool having conversations in the comments where people can actually discuss the feelings and different things about the different Gundam shows and, and games and things. So, this one is going to be a simple question. What is your favourite Gundam show? And what is your favourite part of that show? Now, I'm going to start off, obviously, because then you guys can take points from this and lead into your own comments. But my favourite series out of all of them is Unicorn. I have a couple of other favourite series. Like, for instance, I have a personal spot for Wing. Because Wing was where I got into it, like most people in the West. I, re I remember the original run on Toonami. And that was really fun to watch. I remember getting hyped for it. And coming back from high school and watching it every single time it was on. And then G Gundam has a little place in my heart because of how ridiculously absurd it is, but how funny it is just to watch. It's kind of one of those popcorn romps where you can just sit down and enjoy it. I do like the the story between Rain and Domon in that. That is really cool to see, and I really enjoy that. But Unicorn for me, because of how emotionally invested and immersed you can get in it, I think it's mainly to do with what's going on at the same time as the soundtrack. They kind of blend together really well. But I've always liked to say that if something can really make you feel as though you're immersed or invested in it, then it's a good product or whatever it is is a good thing. So say you're playing a video game and you actually feel as if you're the in the video game world or whatever because you're immersed in, say, what's going on or the sounds or whatever. That's normally a good representation of a good video game. But in this case, when you have emotional feelings attached to it, when it's invoking emotions, when you feel like you're really invested in the characters and that you really want to see where this goes, you know, and the, everything is is lining up and you're really, really invested in it, that's when I think a, a show is at its best. Like, for instance, people can turn around and be like, I remember when Goku went Super Saiyan in Dragon Ball, and that was the most amazing thing ever. Just the screaming and the music and, oh, just the animation. It, it was fantastic. Well, for Unicorn, for me, there are a few pivotal moments. It's funny because you can get to a show, and especially for, like, me, I find that at certain points in a really good show, my spine tends to tingle for no reason, and this tends to be when there's, like, really cool music going in, or there's some really cool action fight scenes, and that tends to be, for me, a an easy indication that something fantastic is happening, and I remember getting this feeling, like, when, um, when the unicorn first steps off the uh, scaffold in, I think it's either the first or second episodes, when, uh, Banage is just like, right, I need to go, and steps off, and then the music kicks in. That was a good scene, but for me, for every every part of uh, the show, if I had to pick out a like one fantastic bit, it's definitely the lead-up to and the fight between the uh, Unicorn, the Banshee Norn, and the Kshatriya, the, specifically the full-armoured Unicorn versus the Banshee Norn and the Kshatriya repair, because, like, leading up to it, we have the full-armored unicorn step out onto the catapult, or the deck, that is a really cool scene, just because of the music playing in the background, the captain telling you, you know, like, basically, he's proud of everybody on the ship, and that they're gonna go to war, and it's gonna be one where people might not survive, but the idea is that if they win, then this will hopefully change the future. Just that speech alone is really powerful. And the music in the background makes it all the more intense. And then you have the full armored unicorn taking off and laying waste to everything in its way. That is some amazing animation work. And then you have the Banshee Norm that comes in with Riddy, and they both engage in a battle. And obviously, Riddy is just 
like half brainwashed, half un- under the spell of the uh, Psycho Moo system. And you have the confrontation going on where Banaja is basically holding back and really does not like hearing that. And it builds up and it builds up. You've got all this climactic fighting going on. And then um, Marida joins the fight in the Kshatriya repair and the 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 way the music changes and the 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 tempo changes the the entire tone goes down when Marita joins and you can tell something bad's gonna happen and when it does I will not be ashamed to admit that I was brought to tears by that I think it's mainly the music that gets me invested in it so much but when you've seen the characters grow over the course of the show and you think okay they're gonna make it to the end it's it's gonna be fun and they're all going to have a happy ending, or at least some of them are. What's what's going to happen? I don't want my favourite characters to die. And by, like, the the time when Marita starts changing after the unicorn fights the Banshee for the first time on the carrier, you think, okay, Marita's going to change, and she's, she actually does start changing a little bit. And you think, okay, she's a good character. And the next minute, she starts engaging the Norn in combat, and she clearly is not up to it. And it's uh, it, it's really sad the way that fight ends. And uh, at the same time, it, it is one of the most pivotal moments in the entire show because Rini finally realizes he's, he's being a complete tool and that he needs to wake up from this kind of spell that he's under. That is uh, that is the most emotional point in the show, I think, and. Everything that comes before it that leads up to it is fantastically done. And the way that it changes everything for the rest of the show as well, I really enjoy how it wakes Riddy up from where he's been at in terms of being brainwashed by the Banshee and then slowly realises that he's on the wrong side and then ends up teaming up with Banaja at the end. I... uh, I just like the way that it's a turning point in the show, but it's a really sad one, and everything that goes on before and after it is fantastic, but that one moment in the show is where you can turn around and be like, okay, I w- at this point, I was the most emotionally invested, because honestly, I thought that Marita might come out of it with really just kind of getting bored or something, or disarming her, or whatever, to the point where she can't do anything, but no, that doesn't happen the worst situation happens and I, I really felt sorry for Marita there but yeah anyway what's your favorite part in any of the shows what's your favorite show going to have such a long history you've got a lot of parts to pick from I've got a load of other bits that come close but Unicorn is definitely my favorite in terms of uh, both animation emotional investment and soundtrack so anyway you guys put that what your favorite part is down in the comments below. I'll chime in when I can, and I'll see you guys next time.